Hey guys, Hi. I'm Christian. Did you guys enjoy the show or what? Yeah. Amazing. And I caught myself multiple times saying, man, I wish I could sing like that. <laughs> man, I wish I could sing like that. But that was awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Like Rachel said, I'm Christian Stead. My wife is somewhere, her name is Sam. And she's my better half, but we're the directors of Refuge. And Rachel kind of already shared what Refuge is. It's an after school program for six through 12 graders here in Collinsville. And our vision, the vision that God gave me, the vision that God gave my wife, and combined it all together, which is beautiful, was to give the youth of this community a place to go, to feel safe, to feel loved, uh, to be encouraged, and to be motivated to be good citizens in the community, to make a difference. And then ultimately, the most important thing um, is to love Jesus and to know Jesus. And so we get the awesome opportunity to spend Tuesday through Thursday speaking to these kids' lives, building relationships. And I'd like to say I haven't, you know, I've got to just teach them, but they've taught me a lot, too, about what it means to have faith and what it means to walk in faith. And so we get the awesome opportunity just to walk alongside them and to encourage them. And we couldn't do it without the volunteers that we have. Um, Rachel is one of them, by the way. Can you guys give Rachel a round of applause for doing this? She put this show on, she produced this show, she got everyone here, she did all the work behind the scenes, and, um, and she still has a full-time job. I don't know how she did it, by the grace of God. And so, um, and then all the volunteers in the back, just thank you guys for what you're doing. Thank you guys for being here. Every dollar that's raised goes back into supporting Collinsville kids, um, to give them a place to grow, to be mentored, to be tutored. We get free tutoring as well. And so it's just an amazing opportunity that I get to be part of. Um, it's God doing all the work, but I get to be part of it. And so does my wife, and so does Rachel, and Doug, and Melissa, and Lori, and Michelle, and all the volunteers that work there. Um, so I just thank God for what he's doing, and I thank you guys for giving back to your community. Um, so I want to give you a round of applause for being here. So give yourself a round of applause. Thank you guys. And so um, before the night ends, um, Christmas is just what we heard is all about Jesus. Um, it's all about him. Um, and Rachel shared this earlier that some of us may struggle at Christmas time. Some of us may have things that we're going through or memories that pop into our head and it's, and it's hard. Some of us, it's a joyful time. We have our family together. But either way, God is still on the throne. Um, he still reigns in heaven. And he sent his son on earth for me, for you, for everybody in the world, so that we could have eternal life with him. And so there's a lot of gifts you may get this Christmas, but I would like to offer you one gift. And it's the most important gift of all. And when I chose this gift, it changed my life forever. And so it's in this box, and you have a choice to make. It's your choice. God's given you the choice to follow him and to have eternal life, to have peace. And all you have to do, you don't have to work for it. You don't have to strive for it. All you have to do is accept it. He gives it to you freely. And so here's the gift. I'm going to open it up. And the gift is... Love, joy, peace, and eternal life. And my hope and my prayer is that you guys, this Christmas, if you haven't already, or if you're struggling, would accept this gift that God offers. And find a church. A church is not a religious place. It's a place where community can happen. Where people come around you and love you and support you and walk alongside life with you through the struggles and the hard times. That's what the church is for. That's what the church is supposed to be. And God wants you to be in that kind of place. And so that's why he sent his son. So I, I just ask that you would think about that. That you would um, ponder that thought. That God has given you the greatest gift. And it's your choice to make it. Merry Christmas.